Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your boy Kyojin. And it's the kid AB, man. We back, baby. Regular. Um, we got, I think this episode is one big wild out of the week. Because uh, we're going to talk about two pieces of shit. Two uh, wallets. Two wallets. Big wallets, yeah. One is a guy who calls himself the king of toxic masculinity. <laughs> Does he actually call himself that? Yeah. How can is, you... is, this is this guy like an actual like well-known guy? Like, is he like an influencer or something? He's, he's like a kickboxer. Uh, he was world champion, I think. Um, he got he got, he went viral for saying like depression isn't real, and we're gonna watch that video and react to it and show you what exactly what we think of that. Um, so yeah, he, you know he he calls himself the king of toxic masculinity. Yeah, when you see how he looks, it will make sense because only someone who looks how he looks will will, will call himself that. Wow. Do you know what I mean only bold people would call themselves that? Do you know what He's mean? bold. No, yeah. has he, has no has he got so a beard all the bold people are there, but like, is he beard? Uh, Master, is he beard? Has he got a beard? <laughs> He does have a big yeah. Ah, cool. Ah, cool. Come. And then the second one of the week is uh, Matt Hancocky. <laughs> well, I said Hancocky. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned for that. But we're going to start off with the reaction to this video. And hopefully YouTube don't, like, flag us for a copyright or anything like that. Yeah. Should be all right. Should be all Can right. everyone see the screen? <laughs> you went viral. For saying depression isn't real. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I went. I went big time viral. I had yeah. Every, I had every. J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, all of Hollywood was gunning for me. <laughs> right. They they were very upset. I told the truth. Let's pause there. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah. This guy sounds like a prick. <laughs> you see, you see them people who sounds like this. They just sound like a prick. He even looks like one as well. Bro, it's inside that room. Is so dark. Yeah. Why has man got his titty out, fam? You know what? We have to do this right, yeah? We gotta do this right. Give me a second. You fight fire with fire, yeah? Let's see. Are you gonna get your titty out? Oh, hey! I'm gonna expose the nipple. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, that's too much. Well, we're still Muslim. No, no, that's calm, that's calm. I can't be showing too much in it. So that's we're gonna. Calm. Why are you wearing a newspaper as well? <laughs> this guy's got the Metro, man. <laughs> gotta show the titty a bit, you know? Yeah, let me see the nipple, man. No, 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 no. Because I actually got titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's juicy, man. All right, all right. Let's. Uh, this, you know, you know. I said like you can only call yourself the king of toxic masculinity if you look like this. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, you know. This guy looks like dead a shirt as well, fam. That shirt fam. is so dead. Unbelievably, like I know, I, I'm always talking about being kind to people, yeah, but this guy deserves no kindness, man. With his bald head, look at his head. Don't got anti glare on his head top. Ah, man. And then when you hear his accent, yeah, it's so funny because it's so pretentious. People say like, oh, it's because he grew up in like those are different countries. Yeah, but I watched a video interview of his from like three years ago and it was completely different. It was nothing like how it is now. Uh, so it's so pret- like, have a listen to it. So where is he from? Is he, is he American? He's like Romanian British, I think. Or he's British, but he lives in Romania and he went to like an international school or something. Like that. I, don't, I don't know. I don't really care about him too tough. Guys, a mess. Talk about that. Uh, your sure. views on depression not being real, and you give, give the the toxically masculine, unfiltered raw side of it. Well, depression is another weapon they use to uh, emas- to destroy our masculine energy, right? That's another mm-hmm. weapon they use because the majority of depressed people are men. The men suffer from depression more than females yep. because. Of- is that true? I think it is true, but where's this? Don't use this. Use this guy's sources. This guy's got the same sources. But I do think it's true that obviously men are, well, I'm, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure we've seen stats that men are more likely to kill themselves, especially more violently as well. Um, but I think what people fail to realize is, in my opinion, you know, when people say like, oh, men are more depressed than women or like in another video, he was like, oh, the more that the more like, I don't know where they get this stat from, but he was like, oh. Uh, women's approval ratings. I don't know who's measuring this, yeah? Women are less happy now that they're working more, yeah? And to me, that just shows, like, not that women should work less. It just shows to me that, like, this whole capitalist system that we have is is terrible and it's driving people to depression because I don't I think I don't think men are, are, like, inherently more sad than women. 
It's just because women are being kept away from like the rat race that is like the work, the workforce and stuff like that. To their detriment, obviously they want to work and they should be working and stuff like that. And I didn't to. know, I didn't know that this thing was a competition. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's play, man. This, this, let's see. Because a man's life is worse than a female's life. Facts. A man's life's much harder, right? Facts. So in other what do you what do you think? Well, what kind of metrics is this guy using? This guy looks like the B Tech Pitbull, man. <laughs> Dale. Dale. Is he ain't worldwide, man? This guy's Brent Burrow or something, man. But yeah. What did he say? Is that AP? I mean, he must be doing something, right? If he's got an AP. He's a millionaire. Damn. I think he said he's got like 13 million in the bank or something like that. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, so he, obviously he's, he's very rich in it. But I don't like, I, I made this realization the other day yeah, that I don't like rich people, you know? Like, I, I don't think. Laska the other day told me he had a dishwasher growing up and I almost cut him off. <laughs> but, but yeah, well, he, was, he was saying like a man, man's life is harder than a woman's. Again, I think anyone who's in the workforce, because the whole idea of work is like you're so like you you churn out results and money for like big corporations and, and rich people and then they they work you so hard that when you get home you're tired and you don't have no time for leisure and 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 to like work on yourself that naturally because more men work than women obviously they're gonna obviously they're gonna like life's life's gonna be harder in those terms in it do you know what i mean i just don't understand why it's got why is gotta be a comparison mm. you know what i mean yeah. like people people can suffer individually it's not like yeah it's not like like, you know what I mean? There's, there's like, there's like struggles that we as men won't ever go through because you know we're men and we're not women. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Like the you know day, I mean? the day, the day that I push a baby out of my pussy is the day I could compare myself to a woman's struggle. So you, you oh. got a pussy. Listen, man, you want to see a pop, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but in all seriousness, that's that's true. Like, I don't understand why people have to be like it's this evil or thing. Like everyone does that. Like, see, yeah, e- like even like it can go down to the smallest level. So like, you could be like, yeah, oh man, I'm so tired, man. I had to get up at seven. Then someone else would be like, what do you mean, man? What do you mean, man? I woke up at five. Like, you know, so you know what I mean? It's it's like everything's like a competition, there, like yeah, bro. Like she's it's like, like pitbull, in it? Like it's cool. Anyway, but let's 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 see let's see this beat that pitbull, man. Mr. Ben Barrow. Destroy us is they, they convince us to be absolutely selfish. Depression is nothing but extreme selfishness. That's what I'm going to call it. And we're gonna, I'm going to tell you why it's not real in a second. But if you're depressed, you're living inside of your mind, you're obsessed with how you feel, you don't care about anything outside of yourself, and you're an exceptionally selfish person. That's all they're trying to do is convince you and teach you to be extremely selfish. Mm. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say this right well, no, 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 let, no, no, let him finish explaining it. No, no, because he comes on to a different point after. All right, cool. But, bro... This idea that I don't think anyone wants to be depressed. <laughs> no, no, like it's a choice. <laughs> it's like, oh, you wake up one morning, and you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna be depressed. Today's a nice day to be depressed. My life is just gonna be shitty. I I, I choose for my life to be shitty. No, no. I mean, what the? <laughs> what the fuck? What a mess. And this idea that depressed people are selfish, like. If I'm, you can be, you can be involved in the world. You can be like the most empathetic person in the world and still like go through depression. Mm. Like you're probably more likely to go through depression because you're so like empathetic and sensitive to things that happen in the world. Do you know what I mean this idea that oh because you're depressed, you're like you're in your feelings, you're not, you're not. Do you know what I mean you can still be honed in on what's happening around you and still de- be depressed. It doesn't. It's not like a evil or again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, I'm assuming people who aren't depressed are happy and they are selfless. Mm. Mm. And also, yeah, you know what? The, gone. No, no, gone, gone. Because he said, I was gonna, say, like, I was gonna say, yeah, like so many people are getting rich, yeah, of just being pricks. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? I need, to, like, I need to just come up on here and be like, fuck all bold people, fuck everyone, I like, fuck everyone, fuck everyone who wears their, their shirt more than three buttons down. Yeah, that's what that the fuck is that? It's tattoo is shit as well, you know. <laughs> oh, you know the way we say tattoo is so weird, you know. Tattoo. <laughs> I say tattoo. that as well. Oh shit! Yeah, I just clocked it. But tattoo. yeah, like this idea that even even so, yeah, this idea of like being selfless, yeah. Why? Why do you have to? Why does everything about you have to revolve around other people? Why can't? 
the whole point of like recognizing you have depression or recognizing you're depressed yet is to take some time for yourself. It's not selfish. It's 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 you recognizing your self worth and being like, oh, you know what? I need to take a break and I need this for myself. Being selfless all the time is like the worst thing in the world. I hate people that are man. selfless all the time because what do you want? What, what do you want for yourself? Do you know what I mean? Are you, yeah. do, are you are you living life for yourself or are you living life for people around you? Obviously, uh, you should live life for the people around you. Obviously, there's a lot of things I do for the people around me, but but there's, you need to find a balance, man. Well, yeah. if you don't find a balance, that's when you can you can tip to like top over to you know what I mean, like whatever, like burning out or whatever, whatever. or even depression. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say it, but right here, right now, it's the same so much. much of famous people, the Lincoln Park and whatever, whatever, they kill themselves. If you have children. And you kill yourself. You're not a man. I don't care what you're feeling. I don't care how sad you are. You have children mm -hmm. to take care of. You're going to embarrass your children. You're going to leave your children without a father. Andrew, can we say that you're one more sad? time? Because you're sad. If you have children and you kill yourself, you were never a man to begin with. Mm. God damn, what the fuck? See, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Why don't people invent, like, 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 sort of, like, explore? Why people with children are killing themselves instead of saying, is it coming up with a statement? To me, exactly. To me, when I think of somebody like a, a father killing himself and they have children, yeah, I don't think, damn, how can you do that to his children? I think like, what drove him to that point? Like, how how yeah. sad is it exactly. that life has made him to the point where he could leave his children behind? Like, obviously, I get, I feel like as a, as a as a child, I would I would feel sad and I might feel a bit of like bitterness but i think i would feel more bitterness to like life that like oh my parent has like felt this way and they had felt like they, there was no other choice but to do this do you know what i mean i agree and it, it's like i you I, know what yeah? you see see sorry yeah you see the way that he's even moving like all of this like gee it's actually frustrating you know you know what really hurts my ears yeah is this half british half english accent and you know his teeth is terrible as well <laughs> <laughs> we, we, don't get, we get too much on physical appearance. I don't. I don't care. Fam. People, don't, people don't care. someone's gonna jump in the comments. You'd be like, yo, but you're a Kyojin. You're you you're cross-eyed, and I mean, you you got big forehead, and AB you're cross-eyed. I'm not even cross-eyed. That's the thing. Do you know the matter thing is? Yeah, you could probably look at the two sides of his t-shirt at the same time. <laughs> oh. Shut up, man, with your with your, with your uh... independent independent news t-shirt, man. Oh uh, man, all right, yeah, but also, yeah, this idea of like, all right, cool, I can see why some people would think it's selfish, yeah, but have some empathy, you don't need to say something sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Just because you think it doesn't mean it needs to be said, just because yeah. you think it, I hate people who are like, oh, I tell it how it is, blah blah blah. They're I'm the just, worst, I'm, I'm just see, straight, I just tell it is, yeah, like, see the worst off, people, bro, they're the worst people because people actually do that, they don't, they don't say, it. yeah, like oh, I'll tell you how it is, they just, you know, what I mean. They don't. They don't make it known. They just say it. Yeah, you know and, and also, also like, I'd rather be a person who like holds my tongue to be kind, than say it how it is. Like, what, what what is the point of saying how it is? Do you know what I mean, if your girl comes up to you and says like, "Do I look ugly in this?" and she does look ugly in this, yeah. <laughs> oh, just you know, like Islamically, yeah. There's three. There's three types of lies that are halal for you, and one of them is if your wife comes up to you and asks you something that would make her upset, you, you're allowed to lie to her. Oh, is, is it really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Yeah. There's three types. There's, there's like, if, for example, if you and uh, Landlord were beefing, yeah? Mm -hmm. And like, Landlord asked me, oh, what did AB say about me? If I knew what you said was going to cause beef between you two, I'm allowed to lie and be like, nah, he said everything's Gucci. So there's like... What's, I the, what's, the, the, third what's the other, the third one? I, for, I forgot the third one. Not going to lie. We'll have, to, we'll have to research it. If, uh, let's carry on. Garbage. You look good today. And, and the only reason this crap happens is because of the acceptance of depression. People say that depression is stigmatized. It's the complete opposite. It's accepted now to the point where it's almost. I saw the other day yeah, that you got, there's certain jobs that you can't get if you have depression. You know? Bro, really? Like yeah, what? Like, um, I think it might be in America or something, yeah. But like, with, if you have mental health issues, you can't get jobs like. Public service, uh, public service jobs like firefighter, police officer, things like that. Because it's already ment mentally like strenuous. Straining, yeah, straining. So obviously, I I don't know where I stand on that. Maybe it's for the best because obviously it depends. Already... It depends for what like what the reason is for. If they if they say that oh like it could make your mental health 
because imagine you like you got depression or whatever yeah mm -hmm. and um and like you're a police officer like that like anyone would like the shit like normal, you see, yeah anyone would like normal like um uh, like mental health would find that you know what i mean like quite it's mentally stressful. like draining yeah so yeah. so imagine you're depressed on top of that you, you might just you, uh, i can't like, imagine wig yourself so Mm, mm. So I do hear that. So it depends on what, why, you know what I mean. But I don't know. Surely it's like I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a politician. So. Yeah. But yeah. <coughs> so but this also, idea. I I feel like him saying sorry, him saying that uh like me mental health is like stigmatized now. I've heard like I've heard I've heard I've I've heard few people. Yeah, I've heard and like. It's like pushed on, like it's imposing you. Whatever. I've had few people, few people say that. Yeah, I feel like it only seems like that because it's, it's people can identify it now. Because yeah. people are talking about it, they're more aware of what. So I could have been depressed when I was like twelve or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that someone could have been depressed when they were twelve. Yeah, but they didn't know that was depression. They just yeah. thought, oh, I'm just whatever. Whereas now you can actually see, like, yo, like, and get treated for it or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? so, but the, the amount of times, yeah, I don't know about you, but there's an amount of times where, like, where it's the topic of like, what the hell is that? Come on. The amount of times the topic of like, oh fuck off, man. It's like a hard mess. Anyway, the amount of times that like, the topic of like depression has come up in my family, yeah, and then like the adults would be like, oh, I went through this and like I didn't feel like I had depression. I'm like, I think you did, you know. Yeah. I, it was just never spoken about and like yeah maybe it's it's, it's uh, it probably manifests in a different way if you don't know what it is and you don't you don't deal with it in the way the clinical way that we do now yeah but it doesn't mean it didn't exist like the amount of stories that i hear from like adults back home and it's like oh i went through this like from some of my, some of the adults in my family lived through like literal war and genocide and they're like yeah but we didn't feel depressed. I'm like, you did. How could you? you how how could you escape genocide and not feel away? Like you can't yeah. come out of genocide. Oh, you, you, and be you, bro, moved. you're in the same. You're in the same boat as me. Like both of our countries, you know, went through genocide, and then, and then what they don't understand <laughs> is like, you did go through these mental health issues, and then you just took it out on your children. To be honest, yeah. With you. yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And now we're just that, hitting you, hitting you with these six piece combos and that. And they're like, I'm not yeah. depressed. So, <laughs> what's that? that? And now that we're dealing with it, now you have an issue with that. <laughs> yeah, for real. Because <laughs> not only do we have to deal with the shit that happens in our life, we have to deal with all the anger that you took out on us. I like all them combos, fam. <laughs> Man, it's crazy, isn't it? Do you know how yeah, many that times we... you see the Street Fighter? Perfect. <laughs> do you know how many times that would have came up in my, in my household, fam? I was getting finished. <laughs> but it would have had to come up because if it was anything less than perfect, like, you fight him back. You fight him oh, back. Oh, yeah, I like See, when that ball goes by like that once, that one little bit. And then, Yo, and then the evil boss just goes like rage mode. Like, <laughs> I like, like finish him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We're laughing yeah. about it, but because like we we can laugh about it, but if you're if you're going if you're going through this, it's it's all right, man. It'll get better, man. Yeah, and 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 like you know, if you are I always want to say to people that go through like similar things that we went through is like like it doesn't have to be you don't have to accept it as well. I felt for the longest time I felt like I had to accept any situation i pretty much did accept whatever situation i was in and like, without going into mm -hmm. too much detail um but yeah all these old heads saying like oh back in my day yeah you did man and you took it out on us you yeah. bloody raised you raised the price of houses and now we can't even buy a fucking house yeah, yeah. so don't talk and to they'll be like oh me. i bought a house when i was at 13. <laughs> Fuck off. promoted it's insane let me tell you something depression is not real feeling depressed <laughs> yeah. mm. so you can huh no, no, I was just laughing. No, no, I'm like at what he said, like, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah for depression is not real. They're yeah. feeling so. It's like, it's like me saying, I'm not. It's like saying I'm not hungry, but I'm feeling hunger. <laughs> Big heads. <laughs> or like, a broken leg isn't real, but you yeah. can feel pain in your leg. Yeah, if I lie. What's that bone? That's that. That's. Do you think that's bone? That's do you think that's bone that's sticking out your leg right now? <laughs> that's a chicken wing. Feel, you can feel depressed. Yeah, we know but that. You feel depressed, and that is a natural biological evolutionary trigger for you to change something in your life. That's, that's yeah. your own mind telling you you're unhappy about X. 
I went what's so crazy to me, yeah, is that he says depression is not real and then describes what depression is. Yeah. You know how crazy that is? Like, yeah. And I can't true. lie. That's actually one of the best descriptions of depression I've ever heard. 100%. But, but he's like, no, no. It doesn't yeah, it's not real. Yeah. Jail today. I'd be depressed yeah. because I'm in jail. Right. I haven't caught depression. I don't have a disease. Nobody's saying you can catch depression. See what I, I mean? Think, like, this guy thinks it's an STI or something. <laughs> All these people like Ben Shapiro, Kevin Samuels, uh, Jordan Peterson, yeah? Well, you know what, yeah? We need to talk about Kevin Samuels on one episode, you know? Because that guy's a fucking prick. I've, I've never watched any of his videos, but Lasky was telling me about him the other day. He was just saying he's, he's a, a prick, apparently. He's such a prick, I swear. A, I've seen in the comments, apparently these two say the same thing because people would be like, oh, uh, Andrew Tate and Kem Kevin Samuels say the same thing, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. So I'm saying, G, and you know, he's he's actually doing well, bro. How like how are these people get, getting rich of just being a prick, bro? Yeah. Here's crazy, us, yeah, it? being nice and that, yeah. We've been too nice, man. Yeah, okay. too nice. Man. <laughs> looks like Rick. Have you seen? You know, it's WWE. And it looks like Ricochet, man. Wow. Uh, no, I haven't watched uh, WWE since Undertaker lost his stream, man. Yeah, he's he's um, more of a new character, but like this idea of. What, what did he say? Like, oh, you haven't caught, bro. This is what all of those like debaters and these all, all right people. It's do, semantics, yeah. all, man. It's like this. I think it's the word is like straw man, yeah. Like, for example, let's say me and you are arguing about whether the sky is blue, yeah. And then you go, oh no, the sky is blue, and I go, oh, so you're saying the grass is green? Like, yeah, you, yeah, I, yeah. I bring up something that we both know is not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pretend like you said it. Yeah. So that the. Oh, so well, bear man, do that, bro. Bear yeah, man, do that. Yeah, do you know I mean, you, you'll you be arguing about, like, um, I don't know anything, and they'll be like, oh, but, so do you think this? And I'm like, where the fuck did I say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, I know you're saying that I said that just because you know that we both know it's wrong, and it's such an yeah. absurd thing to say that it's, that you're going to try and, like, derail my argument. It's like, I never said that. Do you know what I mean? No, no one's saying that you can catch depression. When we, what, what people mean by clinical is that it is a disorder. There's a chemical imbalance in your brain. Do you know what I mean? In, in, in some cases, obviously, you, there are cases where you can just feel sad and feel depressed and all that stuff, yeah? But there are a lot of cases where there's a chemical imbalance and, that, and it, in those cases, it's much harder to... You can't just decide to not be depressed the next day. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. there's certain things that will stop you. You know what I mean? Uh, I agree. Yeah. Anyway, what well, well, please. I'm just upset with my situation. Yep. I have people mess me all the time. I'm fat and I can't get a girlfriend because I'm depressed. I'm like, no, pancake lover. <laughs> you're depressed because you're fat and you can't get a girlfriend. Do you understand? This is But it's true though, but like that still doesn't prove that depression is not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> it's a bit rude, but Okay, I, I'm allowed to joke because I'm fine. Eh? Bro, I you know, you yeah, I, I, I've had a family event yeah, since that Friday. Yeah. yeah. And the whole day, yeah, the, the, I was with them for two days. Yeah, The whole the whole two days, they were just calling me fat, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm not even fat. <laughs> I think, is it like, oh, was it your cousins? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a cousin's thing because like my cousins who are like, are oh, fatter than me. Yeah, they'll call me fat and chubby all the time. They'll be like, bro, bro, I'm not even fat, bro. This is called muscly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, go on. Go right, let's on. see what what Bodhi has to say. This is the point, right? So for a lot of people, <laughs> that table's sick, you know. Depressing. A lot of you out there, if you're sitting there, you say you suffer from depression. You probably live a depressing life. You probably no fucking shit. I don't understand. Like he he's literally arguing the points for us. Yes, people who, who suffer from depression oftentimes. Is that, say, life. is that saying, yeah, I'm broke? Well, and then and they say, you're, you're broke because you live in the poverty. <laughs> Fuck, this guy's an idiot. Look, oh my God, look at this screen. Look at this. Look at what he pulls as well. This guy looks like an uckers. <laughs> I can't believe that, you know. What? Oh my days. This is a mess. Bro, if it's, if being stupid can actually get you rich, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm confiscating my IQ, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro. I, I'm, you know, I don't. I don't need it anymore. I'm I, like. I'm done with education, bro. I don't need it anymore. Uh, we'll go, from next week, we're gonna start donating brain cells if anyone wants them. I like. I know a lot of you need them. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know how dumb that is, yeah. That's like saying you're not fat. You're just fat because you live an unhealthy lifestyle. Yeah. Like, like, like yeah, yeah, you are fat. Do you know what I mean? 
they kids. So yeah, anyway, we're going. We live a depressing life. So if I was you, I'd be depressed. <laughs> but if you were me, you'd be happy. Do you know what could solve depression for these poor people? I'm Bro, you. if I if I lost all my hair. <laughs> well, if my if my auntie had a dick, she'd be my uncle. And I, but I'm not gonna lie. If I look like that and sound like that, I don't think I'll be happy. I can't lie. I don't mean to be mean, but. You know what, yeah, nah, like, if someone was bold and had a beard, like, Terry only was bold and had a beard, like, and he looked handsome. That's so cold, that's cold. I feel like, yeah, so I feel like, your per- I think his personality is making him ugly. Yeah, even, even like, Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant pen- was a pen guy, you know? Yeah, he didn't really have a beard like that, like. He did, or, uh, But it was late, like, is that mine, isn't it? He had one later to, like, after he retired and stuff, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who else is bold and had a beard? Well, there's some good-looking bold men out there, you know? Yeah, for real, like, Terry Crews? I don't you know, know about that one. Now, Terry Crews is handsome, man. He's got a couple of wrinkles on his foot. It looks like my ball sack, bro. You say he looks like a full skin? My ball sack. Oh, I was close. <laughs> there you go. But Terry Crews is one of those no, people. Like, like, uh, he's he's uh, such, uh, a, yeah, such ten... a nice person, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He, he really exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Is that like um, our year 10 year leader? Do you remember? No, year 11 year leader. Oh, Boldy. Yeah, Boldy. Mr. Boldy, bro. He's yeah. handsome. Yeah, he's a handsome guy, sweet guy, kind of cute yeah. as well. He is cute, man, a little chubby bastard. Yeah. I got his number, you know. Anyway. He gave me his number after I left school. Grooming. <laughs> <laughs> Milk flavor. Dollars in the bag. Yeah. Boom. So how is it a disease? So when I say this to people, most of them agree, and they go, okay, but if that's true... Why do famous people kill themselves? And I say, well, I know you think you outsmarted me, but I'm Andrew Tate. <laughs> and I have the answer. The reason is twofold. This absolute acceptance of depression and acceptance of weakness. When you accept anything, to a degree you're promoting it. Weakness is promoted now in men, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's take Robin Williams as an example. Robin Williams killed himself, I was right? just going to say. No. Williams, right? Famous. He could be banging 19-year-olds for the rest of his life. Multi-millionaire. <laughs> What is with this guy uh, banging 90 year old? He's, I'm sure he's like at least in his 30s, right? Yeah, so he's, he's 34 and what's this obsession with banging 19 year olds? I know it's legal, but like, I mean, if you're specifically going for them, nah, you're that's a predator. Still pedophilia, man. Man. You're, you're a predator, do you know what I mean? If you're specifically that's like 15 ta- ta- years, bro, man was writing his GCSEs. Them. He was writing his GCSEs and the, the, his now 19 year old was just born. That is disgusting. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Especially if, if you're targeting them, you're definitely a not. You're a predator, fam. For real. But also, this idea, this is why I, I hate people who can't think outside of the realms of their own life. Yeah? Yeah. Because, yeah, money and sex is important to you, clearly, because you've brought up so much, yeah? But it doesn't mean it's going to make next man happy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you get, if, if you give me... Like a million dollars, yeah, okay, that would, I can't, that would make me happy. I'm not gonna lie, that would solve a lot of my problems. I'm not gonna lie. But if you gave me bro. a lifetime of like meaningless sex, yeah, bro, that would make me happy. I'll feel empty, I'll, I'll probably feel, feel more depressed. I can't lie, yeah, I do you know what I mean? Because imagine how much <laughs> the post not clarity will hit, yeah, if that's all you, all you do in your life. Do you know what I mean? I would, I would feel sick, you know what I mean? Not that I've ever done that before, by the way, guys. Keep it halal. So, yeah, why you get your tea, yeah. Oh, you couldn't see it. I was copying my diddy. <laughs> hey, man. Go ahead. Feed in the nipple. Go on, go on. Let's, let's, let's see. I'm going to start with OnlyFans. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> that was cheeky, bro. You're going to start Oli tits. Everyone loves him. How could he possibly kill himself? I'll tell you why. Because when he walked into the therapist's office and said, I feel depressed, the therapist said, okay, Here's some mind-altering drugs. Start taking these. Mm. And then I need to see you six hours a day, every day. And we're going to talk about sad things for the next 10 years. He was in ther- therapy for 10 years. Oh, Damn. God. If I had to take mind-altering drugs and talk about sad shit for six hours a day for 10 years, I'd kill myself. <laughs> but if he would have walked into the therapist's office and the therapist said to him... You know what? Hey, Robin, Pause it, yeah? These co-hosts yeah. are fucking dickheads. How are they letting this run? Like, I don't understand. They're just laughing as well. Like, don't have a mind on themselves, bro. bro they're yes men to the next fucking level, bro. Fucking cocksuckers, fam. Do you know what I mean? If, if someone was standing on this, this podcast, yeah? If a long-time viewers know already, like, if I disagree with someone on this podcast, I'll yeah, say... You're, make, and, you're making it known. And everyone else, everyone else, like, for example, Ads, if he disagrees with me, yeah, he don't sit by and just be like, yeah, 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 I agree. He'll, he'll make it known and we'll have yeah. an argument or a dispute about it. There's no, like, but to be honest, they agree with me. They're all, like, they, the whole... 
premise of this podcast here. Yeah? Might have to have a podcast beef. I don't know. But the whole premise of the podcast is like teaching men to like look for high value Man, women. Fuck fresh and, and fit. Look like at that, that shit. Look at that shit logo on the bottom right. Look how shit that looks. <laughs> They're so dead, but man done that in word out, bro. Dead uh, guy, yeah. man. Guys are fucking dead graffiti on the table as well. I might steal that idea, but it <laughs> the looks table's dead. kinda the table's kinda sick of car like. No, but the graffiti is dead. Guys but yeah, living this, in 07. This idea of he would what do you say? Like, oh first of all, yeah. First, when you therapy to, don't even work like that. You don't you don't talk to someone for six hours. Yeah, what the hell? This guy thinks he, he this guy's only seen the Sopranos and that's what he thinks therapy is. I don't know if you guys have seen Sopranos, but it's just a lot of it is Tony Soprano going and talking to his therapist and the taking only... like Prozac and stuff like that. It's a really, really good show. You should watch it. I love it. It tells you teaches you a lot about like men and mental health and stuff like that. I can't lie, it's an amazing show. But that's not how depression works in real life. You don't go and talk to a therapist for six hours a day and talk about. You'd be shows. lucky. You'd be lucky to get that six hours over the course of two months. <laughs> and and talk about sad shit. What they do at therapy is you unravel shit that's happened in your life because whether or, whether or not you like it, Mister King of Toxic Masculinity, yeah, that sad shit still happened. Whether you talk about it or not, it still happened. So what they do is you you deal with it. He, he said he said like uh, weakness is being accepted yeah all the sh- sad shit that happens to you yeah a lot of men particularly men yeah just want to run away from that and they and and and, and people will class it as like oh you're being so brave you're being so strong you just it's like water off the 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 duck's back is that is that the phrase yeah, like, yeah, water yeah. the ducks back. back yeah when really that shit affects you but you're not dealing with it now Robin Williams was obviously trying to deal with it and do you know what I mean? And, and even with the medicine thing, yeah, your therapist and your doctor know what's best for you, but also you know what's best for you. For example, for me, yeah, obviously I don't like to talk to myself, I talked about myself too much in this topic because it's a bit weird, doesn't it? But like when, when I got diagnosed with depression, the doctor gave me, uh, like, I forgot what it was called, like, I forgot what the thing was called in it, but it was medicine, in it? Like, uh, antidepressants, in it? And I spoke to people and, I, and like, they gave me the option of like, here's the medicine, you can choose to take it or not. Um, and, it's not and, and yeah, in terms of like mind altering, it does like dampen your mood for a couple of weeks and then makes you like happier and stuff like that. But what you have to understand is like, you get a choice whether or not to take it. And some people need to take it because their life is so shit. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not, not in a rude way. It's just like life has treated them so badly that they need to take it. They can't, they can't deal with it any other way do you know what I mean yeah. so like to class it as a weakness blah 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 I think it takes so much strength to step back and be like you know what I'm not happy with my situation or I'm not happy with what happened in my life and I'm going to deal with it I'm not going to run away from it so all this talk about oh weakness weakness is being promoted shut your mouth man fucking weird accent talking guy look at that grey tooth on his bottom jaw as well look at that that might be a silver guys, tooth you know guys, uh, huh? is it might be we can't come for this guy's money. He's got way more money than yeah, both of us put together. Yeah. I'm just, that's, I'm, you know that's, what? I'm just, that's how I'm attacking his looks, man. But you know what? It's all about being a good person in life anyway. Exactly. There are people in the world with no food. Yeah. There Fox. are families in Syria. I said, are... This pisses me off so much, yeah. This pisses me off so much, yeah. Because as a Muslim, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I know like a lot of African people feel this as well. Well, mm-hmm. you can let me know in the comments if whether you feel this or not. But like to be always used, like Middle Eastern people or like people in the Muslim world, to be always used as like, oh, you don't have it so bad. What about the kids over there? What about the kids over there? Like, you cannot as a country fuck up our countries and then be like, well, we don't have it as bad as you. We have it that bad because of you guys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, stop using us as comparison. Do you know what I mean, stop using us as like, oh, poor them, blah blah blah. Maybe stop bombing those countries. How about maybe that? Maybe stop huh? exploiting them for resources. Yeah, maybe stop uh, meddling with uh, with their governments and all that stuff. Like, yeah, okay, f- cool. You want to talk about foreign intervention, yeah. But how much good has ha- have you guys done? Do you know what I mean? And then to come on here and be like, oh, at least we're not like them. Well, at least we're not like them. You think you're being you're being like you're being progressive talking about oh we have first world problems. Like, shut up. Listen, everyone in this world have, has problems. It's all relative. Do you know what I mean? You can compare me and you. Bro, you can barely compare me and you because me and you go through different things in life. 
We've come from different walks of life. We've come from different countries. We've come from different parents. We come from different grandparents. So much. Just you know, when I talk about nuance here, there is literally so much nuance in life. Do you know that's true, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to s- compare yourself to some kid in Syria, yeah, and be like, well, okay, my life isn't that bad because they have it worse. Well, you're not in the same situation as them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Your life, can, your life can still be shit. There's no way, like, uh, you know, if I break my leg tomorrow, yeah. Or like, for example, he's a kickboxer, yeah. Let's say mm-hmm. he loses both his arms and his legs, and he's yeah. and and he's he's crippled. God forbid, I stop for a line. Yeah. Would 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 if I went to him and said, well, you know, there's people out in uh, Bangladesh who are orphaned and they have to work every day of their life from the age of five, um, and some of them get abused by their 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 bosses, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So you know what, you can't be depressed just because you can't kickbox anymore. You've yeah. had a good life. Just, just stop whining. I yeah, know. I guarantee you, he would cry like a bitch. There are school buses being bombed in Yemen. There are people who lost their entire family in a car crash today. You're Robin Williams, and everyone you love is in perfect health. You're a selfish idiot. You don't know that. You don't know that. Did you know what this reminds you of? Yeah, Dave Chappelle said. Yeah. So he was like, so he, he so he said this, he said a bit, yeah, where he's like, well, once, once again, bro, I don't know how he can, do, I can't wear these sunglasses. Fucking hell, man, he's a nonce. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> man said he's a nonce for wearing shades. <laughs> Inside, bro, my, my my head is going loopy and shit, bro. He does look like a nonce, though. Yeah, so <laughs> Dave Chappelle, <laughs> yes, yeah. right now. I <laughs> Get me that school. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, so he was saying yeah, how he's with his friend yeah, and he's like oh I'm hungry and his friend was like oh you can't say that there's people in Africa starving and he's like so what I, st- I still can I still can want food do you know what I mean it's like when people you know when people do that whole thing like oh don't waste your food there's people in Africa starving it's like bro yeah. the food's gonna go to waste anyway yeah you know, whether I eat or not I'm, by the way I don't waste food because I'm yeah, as you can tell I love, I love food in it <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my office. He looks like one and when he paused it. So be alive today. The cure made it worse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What, all right, let's recap what he said, yeah. What did he say? Yeah, so he was saying like, oh, um, if he went into the therapist's office and the therapist just said, well, you're Robin Williams and there's people in worse situations than you and you're rich and all this, then Robin Williams would still be alive today, yeah? And I think that is so oh, dumb. Because this idea that if you just ignore a problem, it will go away and it won't exist. It's so dumb to me because it's like, it's, it's, it's just not true. You know what I mean? I, I, Bro, I, I don't understand. You think Robin, Robin Williams didn't know that he's Robin Williams? Mm. And even if he didn't know, that in itself probably contributed to it. Like, because th- there is a chance that maybe he was going through like identity issues, you know, because I'm not going to lie, yeah. I don't know, like, there's something weird that happened to me recently, yeah. I don't know what it is yet, but it's not happened to me like how it happens to other people yet. But do you ever get those moments where, like, you, for, like, a second, you forget that everything is real and, like, you exist? I don't know how to explain it. It's so fucking weird, yeah? But, like... What, like, I don't know, what, like, imposter syndrome or something? No, nah, imposter syndrome is different. It's just, like, this weird sensation of, like, wow, do I really exist and is, like, everything real? It's just, like, for, for me, it's for, for a split second, yeah? But I've read it happened to, like, it's happened to people for, like, where it's an actual disorder in it, where, the, where they like, they find it hard to differentiate in their mind between what is real and what is, and everything feels fake to them. Do you know what I mean? So who knows? At the end of the day, Robin Williams might be feeling like, yeah, from the outside, we can look like, oh, you got this kind of money, you're Robin Williams, you're the man, blah, 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 all that stuff, yeah? Acknowledgement doesn't mean you give up. It just means like, like it's like, for example, yeah, if I have a broken bone somewhere in my body, yeah, Surely I want to identify what it is. I can't just carry on living in my life. I can, if I identify, oh, this is my foot, then I know, okay, you know, my foot is going to rest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to rice my foot. Rest, uh, what's the other one? Rest, ice, ice compress, compress, elevate. Compression, elevate, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And what you have to understand is... What are you saying? You put it in rest. <laughs> your brain is the exact same. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like... You need to identify what is going on, what part of your brain is affected, what part of your mindset is affected, blah, 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 all that stuff. It's not giving up. It's identifying so you can start fighting it. You know mm. what I mean? This I guy's agree. pissing me off, man. And this whole society of accepting depression. As soon as someone's depressed, 
instantly go to them, oh, poor you, it's okay, we know you can't help it, you can't help it. Why are you telling people they can't help it? Why are you reinforcing that mindset in people? If you come to me and say you're depressed, I say, I will fix you. You're, and you know what's crazy? When I said this depression thing wasn't real, mm -hmm. do you know how many... I kind of agree with that part, though. I was just about to say, I, I slightly agree still. I don't know about him fixing people, but like when people say, like, oh, like you can't help it, like I feel like mm. that's not the right advice to give. To be like, yeah, we'll get through this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I think he's taking an argument that people don't make. When people say they can't help it, they mean like, like it's not your fault for feeling this way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you're going through depression, they don't mean like, oh, there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, oh, wait, don't blame yourself for being depressed because that's going to make it worse. You know what I mean? So he's just, that's what I mean, taking arguments from a non-related topic and bringing it to yeah. you, completely making it different. Fucking fool. Good, because Arcus. Stuck up for depression. You don't understand. I'm depressed. Depression's real. I was like, if it's so horrible, why are you defending it? You sound like it's PR team. You <laughs> fucking dickwad. Idiot, man. If someone told me, yeah, cancer's not real, yeah, and I say, well, actually, no, cancer is real, yeah, does it mean I'm a fucking fan? Oh, cancer. Not it doesn't mean if, if cancer started like selling shows, I buy a ticket. What <laughs> kind of fucking dumb nonsense, bro? To say something's real doesn't mean you stick up for it. Do you know what I mean? This guy is bro, nonsense. bro. I think Katie Hopkins is a real person. Doesn't mean I'm her fan. What the fuck? That fucking disease. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what kind of flawed logic is this idea of like, oh, if you stick, if if you if you uh, accept that something is real, you're a fan of it. No, it doesn't. Exactly, it's another case of this guy just making up nonsense and bullshit to sound smart. Fucking nonsense, man! Unbelievable. Why, like, what, I thought it was ruining your life, but you are desperate for me to believe in it. You want me to believe in it. You're sticking up for it. You're defending depression, yeah. trying to convince me it's real because it's your cure-all excuse for failure. When you're depressed, you can fail in every human metric. I fail at everything. But I'm depressed. It's not my fault. No, you're a failure. That's all you are because you're not trying very hard. If you live in a house, I say this all the time. This is the reason I don't believe in depression. What the fuck? This guy thinks depression just comes from not trying hard. Do you know what I mean, there's, there's so many circumstances in life, yeah, that can lead to depression. But I know people, yeah, they lived in a council house all their lives, yeah, and it's a nice council house, yeah. They live quite comfortably. They able because back in the day, you know, like council houses were quite, quite like. I'm not too sure, but they were quite subsidized in it. So the government will like lower the prices for you and you can pay rent and like eventually it'll become your house in it. Uh, so they're on their way to doing this, blah, blah, blah. They're paying rent, they're paying rent, all that stuff. They're comfortable. They're getting by. They're not comfortable, but they're getting by. Like you're in a state of happiness because you're, able, you're, you're sufficient in it. And then suddenly their mum passes away, like a single mum, by the way, the single, their mum passes away. And then suddenly, just because on the like, the council house agreement or whatever, the, only their mom's name was on it, the council kicked them out of the house. Yeah, and fair enough, you can say, oh, but you can, you know, if you got money, you can go and rent another house and stuff. They had money to keep up with rent payment for that house. Going to another house and like restarting your life is not easy, it's not simple. Do you know what I mean? And that's how their life just changed, just like that. They went from being comfortable to like literally just being homeless. You know what I mean? And people think, oh, what, were they not trying hard enough? Oh, well, because they weren't like filthy rich and millionaires, they're not trying hard enough. Mm. What are these? What are these parameters that we're talking about? Parameters <laughs> we're talking about. I, I, I want to know. I want to know this use metrics. Like, what is he using to measure? Trying hard enough, like. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What, what, what? Being a millionaire and banging little kids like he yeah, does is apparently trying hard enough. Oh, fuck off, Big head. I want to fight him, you know, in a kickboxing match. He fuck you up. Damn. No matter what the worst thing that could possibly happen to me on earth, I will feel sad, but I will recover and I will not become depressed because I don't believe in depression. If you're in an old... You fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like saying it. If I punch you in the face and you say, well, I don't believe in punches. I like... <laughs> <laughs> because because I, don't, I don't believe in pain. <laughs> If I give you, if I give you a broken head, oh, I don't believe in broken I lie. <laughs> I lie. Bo bones can't break. <laughs> Fucking weirdo, man. Look at him! 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 Look at this guy. Slope, slope. I lie. <laughs> Shout out, fucking dumb mess. This guy's an idiot, bro. He's like, 
it's like if you go out if you go out in the snow yeah with with no clothes on yeah you're like well i, I don't believe in the cold <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real talk. I'm, i can't get cold like is that the people you're yeah, saying oh, i don't believe in covid but the die of covid and they'll be like, oh, I, 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 the government are lying to you. I'm mentally superior. That's why I can't no, no. get it. Like, someone literally said that different. to me. You know, you know someone different. literally said that. They were like, I believe that the, 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 the key to recovering from COVID is mindset. And they were like, I wasn't diagnosed with it. I never got any medicine for it. And I never had any symptoms of it. But I do believe I had it. And I got over it because I had the right mindset. I'm like, you fucking idiot. Oh, God. You fucking idiot. I mean, I want to know what people are smoking on, man. I want to hear I want to hear it. If I punch up your mum here, <laughs> and she's and and you say, "Well, you, oh, I don't believe in punches." <laughs> Bro, you can't say oh, if I punch up your mum. <laughs> what if I punch up your mum? Oh, I, I don't believe in mums. So. Oh, no lie. So technically, I didn't punch anything because there's nothing there. No. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't believe that's there. <laughs> okay, you're weird, ass man. Old haunted house, haunted house, right? You have two people in two haunted houses. One believes in ghosts, and one doesn't. You hear some noise in the night. The wind blows, right? The man who believes in ghosts is like, oh, no, a ghost. Now, he's scared, right? right? He wants an exorcist. He, start, he can't sleep. He's scared about ghosts. He's paranoid. Da-da. The guy who doesn't believe in ghosts goes wind, whatever, and goes back to sleep. Do you understand that it's the belief that gives it power? Right. If you don't believe in ghosts, the ghosts can't hurt you. If you don't believe in depression, you can't become depressed. And I refuse to believe in something that's going to weaken me. Why would I believe in something that's going to weaken my ability to deal with problems in life? I, I don't understand, yeah. So he's saying, he's saying he doesn't believe in something, but he's saying he has this something that he doesn't believe in has the ability to weaken someone. <laughs> I, don't think you have, I don't think this guy doesn't understand. You have a choice. You know what I mean? It, again, like, like punch, the pressure's coming to you and you're like, no, here. no, not today. If, 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 I, if, if I get like a baseball bat, yeah? And I whack you in the face with you. If I whack him in the face with it, yeah, that will weaken him, alive. Yeah. So technically, he just doesn't have to believe. Like, don't believe in the baseball bat because it can weaken you, bro. Yeah. Don't yeah, believe yeah, in I it. Like. Do you know what I mean, just stand there while I fucking smash you in the face. <laughs> do you know what I mean, that's what you're saying to me. Do you know what I mean? You guys are prick, man. Come on, man. I'm temporarily immortal. <laughs> also here. Yeah? Let me just go back a couple seconds here. Are you are you reading the comment? <laughs> yeah, what the I, fuck? I was just reading that, you know. I was thinking, what the fuck is that? I, this I is it. Literally just reading that. This is the target audience of this fucking dumbass podcast. This misogynistic podcast, yeah. These people are like, oh, toxic masculinity don't exist. Yeah, clearly it does, yeah. But this guy says, the Philippines, most of the women there are still feminine, very short and poor. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Why? So do you know what that tells me, yeah? All of those things have something to do with control and power. Do you know what I mean? If someone's poor and you have more money than them, you can control you can exert power over them. If they're very short and you're bigger than them, you can exert control and power over them. If they're feminine, like traditionally feminine, your gender roles lead you to believe that you can exert control and power over them, right? What, what is wrong with these men, fam? Can you small, not go through life? Small cocky energy, man. You know, it is, again, it comes down to, like, you have no power and control over your work life, your normal life, your social life. So you want to exert control and power over some aspect of your life and you take it out on women. You mm. fucking, you fucking, I don't know, Fuck. insult. Yeah. No, I said you fucking insult. 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 <laughs> it's like in, insert insult here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why, why do people want control and power? Like, bro, just accept that. You don't have to control everything in your life, man. Sometimes just go, just, just go through your life, man. It's all right, man. Just slide. Yeah. You don't know need to I mean? take it out. There's too many people out here that have shit lives now taking out on other people, man. Mm -hmm. But then again, that just shows you the kind of demographic and target yeah, 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 that these, yeah. these men are going for in it. This guy paid, bear in mind, yeah, this person paid $20 to send that in. Yeah. What yeah, because you, you, you have to pay money to send those comments in. Man paid $20. You know what? We need to get into this business. Of we should, you know. <laughs> we actually should, bro. $20. $20. That's a cheeky... That's an endless trip, you know. Speaking his of... Name, his, name, his name is like white Asian as well. Yeah. Fucking prick. Yeah. Go on. I'm temporarily immortal. 
Do you understand? Liam, not. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm temporarily immortal, and I'm not going to waste my living years believing in things which take power from me. Because mm -hmm. I'm not an idiot. So if you're going to sit there and go, depression is real, actually, you don't understand the problems I'm going through. You're a moron. You are a moron. And the great thing about morons is, as you lose, there's no light without dark, right? Mm -hmm. there's, 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 no, mm -hmm. there's no joy without pain. Of course. For me to be a winner, I need to, there needs to be losers. <laughs> if you want to be depressed <laughs> and oh sit around God. broke while I'm flexing in the Lambo, Simps. then do it. Go do it. But, but you're not going to convince me to join your way of thinking. The last thing, anyone who's watching this, I want you to understand. The last thing you should ever do is adopt the thinking of someone who is sad. Bam. Why would you want to think <laughs> like bam. a sad person? I'm sad and I'm semi-suicidal. You should have the same views and beliefs as me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No, the bro huh? The bro. <laughs> you, know, you know when I was like... Like going through it, yeah. When I had like when I was suffering through like you know, I I was having like crazy thoughts and stuff, yeah. And you you and Laska and Prague, all of you guys knew, right? And you you believed me in it. Yeah. Does that mean that I somehow like transferred those thoughts into your head and then suddenly you became like that? You know Bro, I mean? I'm actually I'm actually fully bamboozled, bro. I can't believe this <laughs> shit, you know. I, I actually can't believe this. That's, I, I, that's why I'm silent, bro. I can't believe this. Like, for example, because he wants to talk about like poor kids in Syria and stuff, yeah. For example, I can be like, I can go to Bangladesh, yeah, and see someone poor and empathize with them and give them charity without suddenly magically becoming poor myself yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean you can see things? It's all I'm about empathy. Becoming. This guy yeah, thinks he's mystique. You can see things from other people's point of view and still live your own life, you know. You don't have to, not everyone has to think the way that you think, and you can understand that there's more than one mindset in this world. What kind mm. of and, and these men just yes, men like he, the, the kind of people that hate you yeah, is like people who just shout and say things confidently and then uh, automatically it's true. Like you yeah, see that yeah, in yeah. high school, do you know what I mean? Like you yeah. know, high school when you have an argument with someone, the was two, loudest person always wins. There's two ways you can win. As you said, one, one of them is like the loudest person always wins, yeah? Or the person who who, who busts the best joke. Yeah. You know yeah I mean, like yeah. If, if I come for you and I cost you, whatever I said might be stupid as fuck, yeah? yeah. But if it made people laugh, or oh, I won the argument. Yeah, I won, won the debate. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fucking weirdos, man. This is why, you know, when they say, when they say, man, I trust you, I'm, I, I'm inclined to believe women, you know, because sometimes we get, we get idiots like this. For real. You know what I mean? Fucking egghead, man. <laughs> Damn. It ain't real. There, I've just blown out the water. It's not real. You can come back. What's so crazy to me yeah, is he spent like a whole eight minutes just telling us like all the symptoms of depression, all the causes of depression. Now he's saying it ain't real. <laughs> he's so fucking stupid. It's like if I give a lecture on hyperthermia and then I, and I'm like, yeah, so hyperthermia causes this, causes that, da da da. But you know, it's not real because I don't believe in it because I don't get cold. Oh, fucking idiot. I mean, say whatever you want. It's not real. Man, this, this, guy's, this, this guy's doing a Charlie Slough. Hello, I can... Oh, no. You know where that's from, bro? That's on Battle Raps, you know? <laughs> but I said, Don DeMarco. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, when we get back in studio, we need our own soundboard. <laughs> that was that was that, that kind of like, that bit was funny. That, but how could they have a battle rap soundbite? That that was funny. Let's go. Okay, let's get, let's get some let me get some vodka. Vodka cranberry, bro. I'll, I'll say house. this, man. Matt, <laughs> Andrew Tate in the house, guys. I I said it too, man. Especially as a man, mm. your accomplishments, right? From your competence, creates confidence. Look at this Don's hairline. Find these guys that are depressed. It's because they haven't accomplished anything. They're what? saying at home. You yeah, can look accomplish look, look everything. You can accomplish everything in life and still things be, can be missing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This idea of money, 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 women, 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 like it's pushed to you and maybe you strive for that and you get it, but then you might, maybe you learn that that wasn't everything in this and world. And what? Your goals you know reached then what? But your family don't fuck with you. Your friends don't fuck with you. You can still go through depression, man. You know what I mean? You can be on, you can be on top of this fucking world and still, you know, so, things can still be wrong. Do you know what I mean? No one's got a perfect life out here, man. Ah, what are your overall views? 
Oh, this guy just even at the end he told us like so if you have if if you have a depressing life you're gonna be depressed yeah which everyone knows that's that's the whole point right exactly and then goes well but i don't believe in depression <laughs> it's, it's literally like, that, saying, that, like that, if you I have an like unhealthy that, that lifestyle you're gonna be unhealthy but i, I don't believe like in unhealthiness that 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 sentence itself just it just summarizes the whole video there's another video that he did where it's part of like their big podcast that they did yeah where he spends like five or six minutes talking about Islam and feminism. And he said he respects Islam because it because it doesn't it's not compatible with women, basically. Basically, he was trying to use our religion here to put down women. And there's and there's, there's no, 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 no. We'll do another should we do another reaction to that? No, I, we will, yeah, but I'll just tell you something quick in it. This guy tried to use Islam to put down women, yeah, and promote misogyny. And there's Muslims on TikTok and Twitter being like, yeah, mashallah, this brother's spitting facts, blah, blah, blah. Shut your mouth, man. First of all, I'll, I'll go into this more detail in, in the video that we do, yeah? How are you letting a kafar tell you about your religion? First of all, yeah, no offense, but you should know about your own religion yourself. Yeah, you should study yourself. Secondly, how are you saying mashallah to misogynists? <laughs> misogyny. So we're going to come with all the facts next, well, or whenever we do it, is we're going to come up with all the facts. And we're going to talk about women in Islam as well. Yeah, man. Bro, like, whatever on. he points, he, whatever points he says, we would, con- we would contradict it with actual Refute facts him. and evidence. Refute him. Yeah. You, yeah I mean, clearly, clearly, clearly you can tell fraud. from this video, yeah? This video that his views don't align with Islam anyway. So well, how is he trying to use Islam to... Um, well, but yeah, but yeah make, make your own views on that. I think he's a weirdo. Let I us know like, what you think. We'll do a Titan take... We'll do a Titan poll. Let us know in the comments in the YouTube. I, I, I enjoyed that, to be honest. I, I enjoyed this though. It was it was a bit it was a bit relaxed. It was fun. I would I, I would say like I would like to part, argue. Go on. We're still part of some good, like you know what I mean, some good, some decent advice, some some a little bit of information. I feel like I would want to argue with these people, yeah, but like, I'm not a, I'm not a debater. You know, like people can think of things on the on the spot. So I mean, I'm, yeah. I, that's that's not me. I'll probably start crying or I'll, or I'll punch someone up. There's, yeah, there's, someone o- up. there's only two reactions I have. I'm yeah, either gonna yeah. cry, or I'm gonna punch someone up. Do you know what I mean? Like, get distracted. <laughs> um, but we do have a second one of the week. Man, it I'm wasn't me. <laughs> that, Can bro, we, that we... Munya Chihuahua guy, yeah, bro, bro. Within 24 hours, bro, man done that. And you know what the thing is, yeah, it was so perfect. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like some meaty video, bro. Like, it was bro, actually bro, thing, like it was like on point, bro. It was it, bro. His work rate is insane, insane, bro. bro. He's a genius. I can't lie. He's actually a genius. Um, he must he must have government sources. There's n- he must have known about this film. Yeah, he but before. <laughs> <laughs> he bro, must the been... video everything else is too is too on point. Bro, he must have been in the room at the same time. Uh, like, he's the one who done the recording. <laughs> Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> he's like hanging from the wall, like fucking Tom Cruise and, and Mission Impossible. Like, I'll go, I'll go him. But what, you a 4K bitch. But you know what it is, yeah? All these yeah. men do it anyway. Like, what, like, what, like look what Bill Clinton ass, done. Boy. Like, you know what I mean? What, I bet, Lewinsky. yeah, fam. I bet, I bet he was lips and he's getting, and he just saw a picture of Bill Clinton and he's like, <laughs> and you can't, you can't, like, I did not have sexual. I like, in your we Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know what the finger smells like, bro. Do you, know, you know how much of an iconic line that is? He's like, <laughs> I do not have sexual relations <laughs> with that lady, Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he just got braided from her just before he came. He was just like, Oh man, oh man. But you know what's mad to me, yeah? It was a walk off for you, bro. You know, you know what's mad to me, G. Oh, I'll, I'll let you stop coughing. <laughs> this guy got Rona. Sneeze. I thought coronavirus. Sneezing yeah. in one of the. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's mad to me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I swear, I'm not even doing this. On purpose. This whole thing is gonna be a clip, bro. I'm not even doing this on purpose, bro. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Bro, you know what's you know what's mad to me? Yeah? <laughs> Is it all out? Yeah. Yeah, it's all out. It's all out. I just uh, got come, come, come. You know what's mad to me? Yeah. Is the fact that like who is giving that man none from? Bro. Bro, uh, did you see the picture of that the the thing of her the next day of putting all the stuff? Bro, she, her her car was 
full to the brim. Like, with the, like, bro, with the, like TK Max bag, bro, life for like, bro, bag for life. If she does a sharp turn, bro, a, a bag is like a, a box is coming out the window, bro. It was that full. And the best thing is, her husband is helping her. Is that like, babes? Yeah. Take your thing, take your time. Well, you got to get the fuck out of here, man. You're gonna go home. <laughs> you ain't gonna go anywhere, but you, you ain't staying here. Bro, that king. We got to applaud him, man. He's he he he. he yep, yeah, there you go. Round of applause. Round of applause. We don't we don't we don't accept Munya G, Munya and and uh, and that things. I don't know. I don't even know her name. Is her name Aid? Aid. <laughs> I think her name might be Gino. So Gina. why is everyone calling her Aid or Ade? <laughs> 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 She, she's his aid. Like aid his for, aid for what? Aid is like helper, like someone who like work. She works for him. Oh, I thought it was like a Ghanaian like, named Adi or something. Bro. <laughs> I don't know, my sorry, but I don't know. You know, you have I, like, just, I just saw the you video. You have like legal and... legal aid, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Oh man. But yeah, bro, he was giving like. Do you know what I realized? Yeah, I woke up. You know, we just had a whole segment on depression. Yeah, you know what makes me depressed? That I woke up one day and I realized, yeah, He's that getting multiple more women, me. multiple women are going for Boris Johnson and Matt Hancock, and yeah. nobody's. Oh, bro, have you seen Matt them. Hancock's hairline, bro? Bro, bro, forget all his looks, yeah, because every everyone. People find different things good looking. I'm not gonna judge on it. If you find that like, good looking, you find that like, good looking. Yeah, bro, that this hairline has, is not good looking, bro. There's this no... man has that, nah, nah, but whatever. It's it's looks. At the end of the day, it's looks in it. This man has zero sex appeal. In fact, he has negative sex appeal. If if someone's sex appeal is hundred, he has minus hundred. Did you see yeah. that video of um of him doing an interview with a girl and he's like, yeah, he's like, like all up against her in it. And this is yeah, going, he's like. And then, yeah. and then she turns around and she's, she almost touches wood, yeah? Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. And then she moves yeah. that handbag like to put in uh, between them in it. Bam. That guy has but like All no... these politicians do now, man. Like, he's just the one that just got caught. He just didn't cut. He didn't check his... He just he didn't check his mirrors. And, and yeah. he got clipped. He, but he, everyone he, is he doing it. He clear his history, fam. But look, you know what I mean, fam? Go, inc- go on incognito mode. So, someone said he was checking the door like it's a house party, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that video of that? You know, there's that woman, yeah. She's wearing something like nice for her husband, yeah. And her husband goes, Oh, yeah, you silly girls. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> well, like, I'm going to send you the video, yeah, and, and put it into this part, yeah. yeah. That comes in, he looks like my Hancock and he goes, Oh, yeah, you silly girls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, every time I see you, that's how I'm going to greet you. Are you yeah, silly girls? Yeah? Oh, yeah. You silly girls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Let's do it to Alaska. Let's both just keep doing it to Alaska. Well, we see him on Friday. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. You silly girls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, hey, hey, what the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You silly girls? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Video- but yeah, someone said, someone said that's it. Fuck it, though. You know what? You gotta thank them for taking these L's because we're like, we just like, there's just so many jokes that we can make out of it. You know what I mean? So, but <laughs> bro, everyone's every bro, every all of these politicians are doing it, bro. All of them, bro. Well, they all got like, a piece on the side. Yeah, of course, bro. Come on, bro, man. They just look. All these people, politicians, there. They go outside the office. They look around. Yeah, well, I had a, I had a guy was looking here. Yeah? Oh, my uncle was looking. They just pick the closest lady next to them and be like, "Come here." That's it. That, that's what Bill Clinton done. I swear, Monica Lewinsky was it was it was it was a PA was she a PA. Oh, okay. Intern. Well, there you go. You know what's mad to me though? Yeah, I saw today that oh she the Gina whatever her name is yeah. So it's not Eddie. Like... <laughs> Shut up. I'm joking. <laughs> She like lost her job, blah blah, all that stuff. Yeah, he he He's still chose employed. to resign. Yeah, he chose to resign. You know how sexist that is. That's so peak, man. Yeah. No, I, I swear, someone like someone tweeted that he's still he's still getting paid. He's an MP, bro. Yeah, like he's he's, he's still MP. employed. He still gets hella money, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, but <clears throat> we do need to yeah talk about it seriously. Innit? The fact that like obviously, um, the first point was that like oh. Why why is the woman getting so much flack professionally in it when they're both doing the same thing? But also, bruv, he resigned over this shit, yeah. 
But this, bro, how many people have died during the pandemic? You know what I mean? So we can make during the pandemic. We, yeah, we can make so many jokes, yeah. But at the end of the day, people couldn't go to their loved one's funeral. They had to go on Zoom to watch the funerals of their loved one. They couldn't attend yeah. weddings. Okay, weddings maybe is a little bit different. Yeah, but funerals, people people were lying, Dead dying in the hospital, hospital deathbeds, yeah, and you can't go see them. Obviously, I understand, because in the hospital, you don't want to... You don't want to spread coronavirus and stuff, yeah? But we accepted all of these things. And yeah, because we knew it was r- the right thing to do. But just because it was the right thing to do doesn't mean it's one rule for us and one rule for you. Yeah, but it is, though. You know what I mean? This idea of like, and then you come on, come on, you come on TV and be like, oh, I accept that. I, I thank you guys for your sacrifice. Fuck off. Don't thank us for a sacrifice. Make those sacrifices too. You're, 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 getting, you're getting a piece on the side. Yeah, while well, people are mourning the death of their loved ones. You know how despicable and disgusting that is? And and, and you know what really fucks me over, yeah? I swear to God, yeah. And I, I know I'm swearing a lot, yeah. But this is something that makes me really, really mad. Is that the Tory government can do so much shit like this. They can fuck up. People still them. vote, bruv. Up, yeah. And their approval ratings will go up. People will still vote for them. Oh, because God forbid poor people have a way out in life. God forbid we fall a little bit too much into socialism. God My forbid life. there's free Wi-Fi for everyone, but now we're looking at free Wi-Fi for everyone. God forbid the school children get free school meals. God forbid uh, youth clubs open up. Bro, Norman, our boy Norman, yeah? yeah. Norman Basigu, if, if you watch him, bro, he, he, he made a video recently. Go watch it. It's called uh, Our World by Norman Basigu. Yeah? I saw on YouTube and stuff like that, yeah? In his video recently, he said, since in the last 10 years, yeah, there's been a 70% cut to youth club funding in, in England. 70% in bro. real profits. Yeah. Mental. Bro, bro, there's a youth club here in our ends here that's opened up recently here in Hendon, yeah? Big up, bro, big up the Barnet Council, bro, because this youth club is 30, bro. You can go there, you can record music, you can learn how to uh, make films. There's a gym there, there's a, um, there's a, roof, there's a rooftop pitch, bro. Yeah, they could, bro, is that five pound a month, bro? Yeah, what else? Dad bears, dad, would have uh, like hairdressing stuff, like for, for, bro, it's so, bro, it's like, so yeah. sick. That, that is, is one so of my sick. dreams, you know. If I ever, if I ever become like rich, rich, that's one of my dreams to have like a youth club with a studio, yeah. football. Like, bro. I want to have like a, a stage there where people can perform and get their big break yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously, if I'll bless it. I'll bless it with some stand-up it. comedy, man. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Let let the young people thrive and do their thing. Don't charge. Bro, you know how sick, bro. Stuff. You know how sick that is, bro. Bro, I was with you, one older, yeah. He's at 30, 31, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, and we and we and I was with him, we we're chilling, and then we 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 happened to walk past the thing in it, the youth center, yeah. And he literally said, he literally said to me, bro, yeah, bro, if we had this when we were when we were th- that age to go, because obviously it's like it's for, it's, it's, it's for teenagers, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. If we had to go, he said like none of my friends would have went to Penn, mm. and it's facts. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking, bro? It might, bro. It might how many people's lives you'd be changing with a with a youth center, bro, which won't even dent the government's pockets. Yeah, a little yeah. little youth center, bro. We just get volunteers, bro. Volunteers yeah. are working there, bro. Bro, there's indoor rock climbing, blood, and people mm. are having a time with the lad. They're learning new skills outside the thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like who the fuck, bro, bro, man? When we started like starting this podcast, yeah. We had to learn all this editing shit, all the equipment, all everything. We had to learn on our by ourselves, bro. But yeah. these kids, they can get help, bro. They can get the head start that everyone needs, bro. Like these, yeah. bro. They need and e- e- like, even they that. Need e- outside even of now, it's, it's it's not it's not enough. By the way, it's not enough. What's happening now as well? It's a it's a start, like you know what it's, I mean. It's, it's it's in select areas, isn't it? It's in like like for example, if you're in northwest, you gotta go all the way to like what Watling Avenue to go to Unitas or something in it. Or you gotta yeah. go here. Do you know what I mean? That's what I was back, about, like. back, back in the day, do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's, one in every, bro, there's one in Cuban that they shut down, bro. But they used to mean? take kids to like full park and shit, bro. Bro, it was so bro. sick. I used, I used to, when I was really young, and there was a uh, uh, youth club I used to go to. But it was it was run by Muslims, innit? So they would be like, well, you can come pray, that stuff, and you can do like, we can learn some boxing. But like, you know, when you say like, oh, where should we go chill? Oh, you know what? They got a table tennis place. Let's just go play table tennis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a snooker. Let's go. Oh, they, oh, you know what? They're gonna show the football there today. You know yeah. what I mean, bro? Imagine, yeah. People want to complain about like, oh, uh, Muslim kids going to shisha, Muslim kids going to the lounges and stuff to watch football. Yeah, bro, show the football in a room in the mosque. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, obviously, I know. Like, obviously, you don't want to distract people from prayer. Or, yeah? or like a tea, like a tea place, or like you know what I mean, like a 
Yeah, no, cafe. Another, an, another, yeah, or like a restaurant. Yeah. Or because, you know what I'm because because literally, imagine the amount of people that go there, yeah, and then when it's Maghrib time, they'll actually pray instead of being in a Haram Bible where they can't pray. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, because then they'll be like, oh, you know, everyone's gonna pray. I'm gonna go pray. Instead like of they, like, uh, someone's doing a like done and all you spell is out uh, frozen mist or for frozen blueberry <laughs> mist or something. Do you know what I mean? All this complaining but not giving kids another alternative, it doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know how we came here from talking about my Hancock here. But it's it talking about the Tory government and they're like, they'll do all this stuff and continually fuck up and we just accept it. We just like, okay, cool. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. And there's another serious point that I want to bring up here. But it might be a whole episode by itself, yeah? AB, no homo, yeah? But you are a beautiful man, right? Yeah? So you want to start this mushroom tip now or later? It's, it's a serious topic, bro. Uh, okay. Actually, I don't, it's, not, it's not that serious, isn't it? It's, it's tongue-in-cheek, but I do believe it, though. There's plenty of people out there, yeah, that will, like, will prioritise an unconventionally attractive white man over you. I'm sorry to say it, but it's, it's, it's true. Like, for example, yeah? I don't know how to explain this. Like, for example, you know when you watch, like, movies, yeah? And there's, let's say, Benedict Cumberbatch. You know the guy who plays Doctor Strange, yeah? He's clapped. There's no way that man is conventionally attractive. But then you have someone like, let's say, um, you know that Riz Indian brother from, uh, yeah, Riz Ahmed or uh, Slung Dog Millionaire. They'll be called unconventionally attractive. What's that guy's name again? Because he, he, went, he went to, like, the Oscars with his mum, innit? And she's wearing, like, a sari and that. Is it Dev Patel? Him, bro, yeah. he is a handsome guy, bro. Oh, that, that guy is bro. conventionally attractive, but they'll be like, bro, oh, he's, you know what? he's he's brown, so we'll just call him like, oh, he's a bit spicy, da, 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 all that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Everything to other than admit that he's just a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But then you, but I'm seeing people like the brother from Superbad, yeah, Michael Serra. There's no way that guy's come. Like, if I, we're don't, talking, I don't know, I don't know who that is. So, you know, Superbad, Michael Serra, he's in like Arrested Development. People Wait, are more. Is that the same guy as now you see me? No, 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 that's not. That's 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 just Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, they, they look pretty similar though. Oh, I saw that picture. I thought, I thought you glued glued up or something. <laughs> so it, it it just it's just mad to be there. Obviously, I don't because for me, like my looks aren't there for white validation anyway. So it doesn't bother me in it. But I'm just talking about in the mainstream how you as a beautiful brother. <laughs> Would be classified as like lower down the pecking order to some of these people who are, bro, not to be mean or anything here, but objectively to me personally. You can't say are, objectively to me personally. Both objectively and like, <laughs> they're just they're just not it. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It is what it is, to, man. Not, that's not why to say I have a ranking order, yeah, but it's, that's what I'm saying. Like Matt Hancock <laughs> can get pussy out here. Do you know what I mean? And I'm out here struggling, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's what this guy was that that body was talking about when we when we project our problems onto other people. Yeah, but it's true. Man. But it's true though. Like everything happens for a reason. You know what I mean? No, no one can tell me Dev Patel is unconventionally attractive. That guy is just a good-looking brother. Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? Get out of here, man! Unconventionally attractive. I feel like we touched on a lot of topics here, man. We did. We did. It was a good. It was a good episode. Um, yeah, Go welcome us back, baby, man. Yeah, we've been gone for time. We've got some good content coming for you, man. Yeah. All in all, Matt Hancock is a is a is a nonce. Um, we don't know if he's a nonce, but he looks like one. Yeah, he just he just has. Zip. If there's a nonce template, it'll be a picture of Matt Hancock. <laughs> and the thing is, I know people are going to come for me. I I don't think I'm a good looking brother or anything, but I know for a fact, yeah. I definitely, have handsome, more man. I definitely have more sexy bro than man <laughs> Bro, you have, bro I've been around you, bro You have bro, That, that <laughs> jiggly <laughs> back, bro Relax, relax, relax Listen, the on only sexy note, Let us know If you think depression is real or not So we can cuss you Um, We might invite you on And say you're a fucking wallet Yeah, just grill you Um, We need to do that know. We need to invite someone on And just grill them Because we, oh, we have We have had good guests so far, yeah That we agree with, Alai like, Yeah, mostly. yeah We need one the way You could just like we had, We have to disagree with her yeah, but if uh, we're gonna put a Titan talk uh, poll up as well to see whether or not you think Matt Hancock is pink. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Put... everyone who votes yes, we get a, a personal invite to the podcast. <laughs> and then we'll put another poll: uh, AB or Michael Sarah, who's more pink? No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Please, I don't want no smoke, man. Please leave me alone, man. But yeah, let oh. us know if you if you want us to do any sort of like any other videos. Any, if, if, let us know what you want. What else you want us to re react to? Yeah. And, um, if there's anyone else talking nonsense, what I shit out there, let us know because we we'll be reacting to that 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 bastard. 
again. That boss is famous. Now he's a fraud. <laughs> But yeah, Timurus. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy that. Depression is real. Good night. Peace out, man. Forty. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh.